No indictment in the death of Eric Garner. The coroner called it a homicide. The guy's not acting threatening, and we know that not through witness testimony, unreliable bystanders, but because we are watching it. That is a child. That is a child that was jaywalking right here. He wasn't going to him. That is a child. That's a fucking child. That's a child. That's a child. That's a child. That's a child. Determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson. This same subject then uh, assaulted my officer, and uh, in the context of mutual combat, in that sense, um, the officer did draw his uh, revolver and subsequently shot the subject. I said, the next time I see my baby, he will be cold with embalming fluid. Why will you not let me touch him? One more time. She needs to say that goodbye. Is that is my She needs to see her son. People are being killed, unarmed young African Americans are being their lives are being taken, not just in Madison, but all across this country. And so this is a moment where we pause and say this is the voice in which the time in which Tony's name needs to be remembered with the broader narrative across this nation. It is broader narrative brought in with Eric Gardner, Tamir Rice, Mike Brown, and now Tony Robinson. And like Andrea said, we cannot allow this city to forget because when they forget, then there will be no changes. When they can go back to the yeah. lakes, when they can go back to the bike paths, when they can go back to yes, the sir. walking and yes, the sir. marathons and go back to the life as normal, then they will forget the fact that they, uh, on Williamson Street, a tragedy happened where a young man 19 years old, Yes, was tragically killed. There certainly, as I've been here for, for all my life, I know that there are, <clears throat> there, there's an undercurrent here that's, uh, that makes it uncomfortable for people of color. To mo so much more about uh, the family and uh, so much more about um, the people in the community that love this kid, you know. How do we, how do we not necessarily move on, but move forward? What are the things that we're going to do to make what happened mean so much more? Oh my God! What's going on, Susan? <laughs> Tell me what's going on, Susan. What? They shot your husband. I think we have shots fired on Camden. You know, this is all they see. If this is all I see, then ultimately I'm gonna think this is my fate one day, so. I still grieve for the family. Um, I feel that our community has had a lot of conversations um, and that we have to move beyond um, the conversations. You understand? Because where I come from, the ghetto is not like this. It don't look like this. To us when we come here, it was paradise. Yeah, beautiful place. But I got something y'all should know. Let me talk. Okay, now, this is the life where you can stand and watch your homie die. Reunite the next day, but you still traumatized. Up on the thoughts of dark dreams that you was all to see. Oh, now you looking up to him when you was left to see. Uh, a bad memory. Uh, was it meant to see? Like how I'm supposed to bury you when you should bury me. Cause you was chasing a degree when I was chasing trees. Now I'm left with one thought. Was it meant to be? Uh, was it meant to be? And is it possible? I just wanna fly away and be so comfortable. I just wanna go to heaven, you don't even know. Hey, tell my homie, I'ma change, I can't take no more. Oh, I can't take no more.